Johnny from Union Media here, and in this video we're going to be talking about a single sheet lead magnet, which could be something like a cheat sheet. So stay tuned. At Union Media, we help companies grow and thrive using the latest tools, tricks, and marketing techniques. From websites to automated sales funnels, social media content, and much more. We are constantly releasing new material on our YouTube channel, so make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you don't miss out. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments section below. Just before we get going, I want to very quickly tell you about our exclusive offer. We are giving away free access to our paid Hub You Know platform for the first 50 people who click on the link in the description. This offer is going on all of our YouTube videos, so hurry and get your place. Within Hub Uno, we have created over 100 training videos in 13 courses, including a course on creating amazing lead magnets. You'll also find recording webinars and a host of other free content, so remember to click on the link in the description. Let's get on with the video. In this video, we're going to have a look at a lead magnet we've created and how we created it to hopefully give you some ideas about how you could create one of your own. This is a single sheet lead magnet we're going to create, and we're going to create it in a program called Canva, which you may have heard us talking about before. Now this email marketing sheet in Canva that we're going to produce and show you hopefully how easy this can be. The first thing you need to do is type in Canva, just search it in Google, and you'll come up with this homepage once you set up your account. Now on the left, you're gonna click, click create a design. So if you click down like there, this has got a load of dimensions that you can use already put in. Now we're gonna search dimension, we have A4 paper. Now that's A4 paper for portrait, we want A4 paper for landscape. So we're just gonna put those two measurements in the other way around. So you can click custom dimension. That'll take you to this box here. Now we need to put in the width and the height. Now actually it was in centimeters, but you can have it in pixels, inches or millimeters. So in centimeters, 29.7 as the width, and then 21 centimeters as the height. And you can see it change it to pixels straight away, change it to centimeters. So you just have to click create design. And this shows the blank canvas you have to start with. Now the first thing we need to do is put a background on it. Just one thing I want to point out is it already starts with a load of templates on the left here. Now as you can see, if you click on one of these, should have come up and it's going to say free. And even if you like, well, if you do like one of these templates, you can edit anything in there. Say, for example, this part, you can simply click through, change the font, whatever you like about it. Now, the ones that don't say free on it, you'll click in and it will come up with a watermark around it. Now, the watermark around it means that you have to pay for those ones. So the ones that say free, you can just use and they are free. And the ones that are not free will have, like this one's got a Canva watermark around the outside. And to get rid of that Canva watermark, you will need to pay for it. Okay, so go back to our design. Going back to our design, the first thing we need to do is sort out the background. Now, if you click on it, it's got this background color thing that appears here. Now, this is going to be your toolbar where you do everything. So you click on that background color. Now, we're going to need to select a new color. So click there. To work with Canva, you're going to need to know the hex codes of the colors you want to work with. The one we're going to start with is our light blue color. Okay, and that looks good to me as the background, so we can click off there. Now looking across this sheet, the next thing we need to do is put our logo in the top left and create that writing at the bottom. On the far left here, this is where you can put things into this area. So we're going to need to upload an image. So if you click upload, if you click upload an image or video, you can choose any file that you want to upload in there. So I'm simply gonna scroll down to one that I've pre-uploaded, which is our logo, click on it. And then with the bottom corner, you just hold it down and you can resize it to whatever shape you want. So I'm gonna put it there. Okay, now if we have a look at the design, email marketing planning sheet comes in the bottom there. So for this, I'm going to need to text, add a heading. All right, so I'm going to choose my font. 
again, click up here to change the color. And then one of the really nice bits about this is that you can come up here to change the font or you can just hold these corners as you go down, you'll see that number change in a box. So you don't have to go through and annoyingly just change the font size each time. So that's looking pretty good to me. So now I'm just going to hold it down, drag it up over here. And another good thing you can do is that was with the mouse. This is just me using the arrow keys to move those parts around. Okay. Now look at sheet. Next thing we need to do is put in these white boxes. So again, we're going to put in uh, something on the left here. So we've done uploads, we've done text. The next thing we need to do is put in an element. Now element is like a shape. So you can see here, I've got the recently used ones, but you can scroll down and have a look through the shapes. Or if you click on see all, it will go through the shapes. If you hover over it, it will show you which ones are free. Usually the ones that aren't free have a little price tag by them so that you can see which ones are paid or not. Now we're going to use the one with the corners cut off. Click on that one. Resize our image. And put it underneath there. I'm going to want the background to be white. Okay, and there we go. Now I want this box to just another one to fit below here. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I can click copy and paste. And that creates exactly the same box. Now the other good thing about Canva is that when you get stuff exactly lined up like that, it will almost, so if you see here, it jumps into place there. And that means it's exactly lined up with the box at the top, which is quite a nice touch from it. I want a little bit bigger gap, so I'm gonna resize this one. And I'm gonna make this one a bit smaller as well. Okay, there we go. So resize that gap as well. Now you can always use this tool down here to zoom in on it if you click on it. You can choose different percentage sizes to view it. One thing you can also do is hide this part on the right. And then again, you can change the sizes of it there to see a large bit of it. So the next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is put a bit of text into this box. Now I'm gonna want that text to be exactly the same as the one up here in its styling. So I'm just gonna go on it. I'm gonna put copy and paste, but I'm gonna want the color to be black and then I can put that in there now actually that's really kind of difficult for me to see that bit so I'm going to zoom into that part okay and then I am simply going to type in there what I want in that section of it okay so that's my first box done in that section if you don't like exactly where it's placed you can go on there and use the arrow keys to just move it around. Okay, that looks perfect. I'm going to go back to fit. Okay, that's my first box done. Now I'm going to do that for the rest of the boxes and come up and finish the whole sheet. And this is what my finished sheet looks like. Now it's really easy as well, we really like this about it, to get this out and put it into a file. To download it you can just click this bit up here. You can do this all for free. The PNG file is the one that's suggested. And all you have to click is download. And then this will download and go into your downloads folder and you can move it to wherever you want. And that's how easy it can be to set up a single sheet lead magnet like this in Canva. Now you can go away and try and set up some of your own single sheet lead magnets using Canva. Remember to try and think what problems your clients are having and how this lead magnet could help solve them.